And you, when Tom Moore have the ball, you commentate when Clavin have a high commentate. Is that right? Yeah, no matter. Three form with the ball now. Who will go on next? Uh, three up here. Come off here. Oh, drops it short. Pushing Caulfield has caught the ball on the line now. He's gone out to the left hand side. He's looking for a backup. He goes back in to Brandon Nolan. Brandon is bursting out to the middle. He bounces the ball. The ball takes the skid off the surface on, on Tracy. And it's. Ball's out here to Pedro. Pedro is running for the ball as fast as he can. Ball's going out over the line. Unlucky. Oh, the ball for more here. Uh, Jack Lyons kicking it. What's the line, Jack? Ball has gone into the full William, court. William Myers has it here now. Gives it back to Rory Doyle. Rory gives it to Luke McGrath. Out to Sean Ford as well. Back out to Jack Lyons. Go on, Jack. Straight up off the ground by Jack. Eleven ball. Free out there for Eleven Honey Gals. A call Tracy has a ball in his hand. He's looking. He, he's looking for Lucas. Good ball up here to Lucas. Yeah. Lucas, the bell speeds Lucas. One more. Off Fiok Barn. Got that point then. First point of the game. Good run by Fiok. Back to Fiok. Go on, Fiok. Oh. Great interception from Brandon Nolan. Brandon Nolan is commanding that square in there. He's bursting out. Gives the ball out to Carl Tracy. Carl Tracy puts the ball on the toe. Gives it back to Fionn Dyle. Fionn Dyle is bursting out to the middle, playing a bit of basketball. Has a look up, he turns around, he goes back to Cahill Tracy. Cahill kicks the ball back to Michael Redmond. Michael stops with the foot, now bends on it, now Michael is on the road. Michael is bursting forward here, hand passes the ball out to Cahill Tracy. Cahill Tracy has a look up, takes the bounce, goes by his marker. Pops the ball into Orndyle, Orndyle turns. Bounce the ball, he's going to go back to Cahill. Cahill takes the ball, he's having a look up again. He's letting the big one into the square, and the ball is intercepted. Connor going by himself now at the minute. Off to Luke McGrath now, see if he can make something out of it. Luke McGrath here now, good run Luke. Great journey in there. Oh, yeah. Just here? Yeah. Luke McGrath is on the attack here now. Luke, county footballer with Carlo on the 14s. Overplays the ball. So, it's a free out there for Clavin Clenny Gall, so that'll slow it down a bit. So, so Dara, a fast start to the game there. Tom Moore went into a one point lead. Fast game so far. Fast game so far. Both teams will be looking for the win here to represent Carlo in the regional finals. The ball comes up along the wing here now to Owen Dial. Owen Dial turns back in, takes a solo, he gives the ball back to Michael Redmond. Michael's out on the 45 yard line now, he's taking a run with the ball, he's being tackled there, tackled and he's being fouled. Bad foul by Sean Ford as well, um, that's Michael Redmond. Well, Michael now is not going, to, he's not going to rush this, he's going to take his time and look for the correct option. That's a great ball over here now to Lucas Gazal. Lucas turns on the ball, he hand passes the ball into Fionn Dyle. Oh. Fionn is a big player here for Glavin, Fionn loses out and the ball is turned over. Back up Jack Lyons now, see what Jack can get with this. He was off to Fiocco, a good pace for Fiocco. Back off to William, back to Fiocco. Lovely one twos there from the two of them. Some burst of pace there from William. <coughs> Looking right. Oh, wide. Poor, poor shot there, I have to say. The ball goes wide, so after six minutes here in Lefwich Cullen Park in the Division 2 fail a final between Clavin County Gall and Clonmore, it's one point to no score to Clonmore. Very even game so far, yeah, Derek. Good game so far, no. Clavin, both sides are hungry now, to be fair. The more reigning champions at the minute, hoping to hold on to it. Yeah. However, way could have a fair up though, it'd be a tough game for him. These two teams met Friday evening in, in, in Clonmore, and Clonmore come out on the top. So, Brandon Nolan seemingly taking the kickouts here. He comes out here to Fionn Dial. Fionn makes the ball. Fionn gets the ball up. Yeah, has a look up. Fionn pops the ball straight into Owen Tracy. Owen Tracy now is an acre of space in front of him. He bounces the ball. He oh. takes it by uh, Luke McGrath. Pass into Michael Redmond, another oh, yeah. two county footballers. Ross going to back off. Evan Dyle is going for this ball now. Oh. Up by Ross. Good power from Ross there. Strong man. Straight to Luke McGrath. Back off to Liam Kennedy. So Liam go. Oh, good time by Liam. Ron Luke. 
Let's not know this now. Back off to the big Sean Carlos, big redhead in the middle of the field. <laughs> off now to Brian, the brick wheel. <laughs> with Luke Lavani with the ball here now. Into Josh Kelly. Oh, and now comes Brandon Nolan. Up. Back up by Fiat Barn though. Back off the brick. Back to Fiat. Luke McGraw, will he take the shot? Oh, that's a bad lead. Could have done better there now. Good defending from Kildavin's point of view though. Yeah, good pressure on Tracy put um, good pressure on Luke Murad and two boys know each other for the under 14 county panel there. So that'll be a good contest there, Dara, for the rest of the game. I want to be looking to get the better of the other in the training. Round. That's the truth, yeah. Be bragging rights for county training next week. <laughs> so both teams have settled into the game here now at the moment. They're trying to find the field of the ball and all that can carry on. So. Kilavin have gone with the tactic of Brandon Nolan kicking out the ball, so we're a man down out around the backs already. Right, so that's Lord a good kick out actually, but it's intercepted. Set up by Sean Carl as though, well won. A free in for Tom Moore now. Free off Moore will probably kick this. Kick the other. Feeling that. Free stepping up to take this now. Poor wide from Another Fiat. waste of chances there for that's three or four wides now for Clonmore. Yeah, the I wonder the rule then misses at the end of the game. The wides are killing Hopefully them. Hopefully they will. But <laughs> <laughs> ah, they might not. So Brandon Nolan now is coming out to. Fiox should have put that one over now in fairness. Yeah, it was a it was a scoreable free in at this level of the game in the in the final, the fail the final, you need to be taking them scores yeah, there. Especially with the one he put over before the end, like. Exactly. So Brandon Nolan now is sizing up the kick out, he's coming out steamily trying oh. to find Michael Rebbin. That's a powerful kick out. Michael is unlucky there not to get it, but But Lucas has the ball now. Lucas is a great burst of speed, a great pass in there to Fionn Dial. The ball is going to be intercepted again and it's Tom Moore on the Last attack again. The great defending. Right. Referee has given the advantage. That was good, a good, great interception there by Clamore Dara. He couldn't hold it though, they got to give free in now. Clamore ball or is it Clamore? It's a Clamore ball. Oh, Clamore ball. It's intercepted well by Rostyle. Sean Carr is going to kick this now. Back to, back to Doodle Ford. Here was Connor now with. Back to Sean. Got the ball. Oh, Great interception God, there by Pedro. Pedro passes the ball into Evan Dial. No, this is a dangerous position yeah, for Kalevin Tony Gog. Pedro screaming for the ball, and it's a free in. A great, absolutely brilliant play there by Evan Dial. He won that ball there, and he drew the tackler, and he created a free. Brilliant stuff by Evan Dial. I took up by Kalevin now, in fairness. So, Cahill Tracy is stepping up to this. Cahill had a bit of an injury Friday night again, Grange, and there was. Worries that he wouldn't be able to participate in the rest of the championship, but here he is. It's great to see Cahill Tracy stepping up to this one now. He has the range, but has he got the accuracy? Dangerous ball into the square there now, but it's going to go left and it's going to go to the wide. Back out for a for Alan Dyer. That's the first meaning for the attack there for 11 Clonny Gall there, uh, Dara. The first shot off now after the first 10 minutes. Well, Evan Dial done very well there when the ball was fed into him. He battled away and he won his free, so uh, great it, stuff there by Evan Dial. It was a great interception by, who was it, Michael Redmond? Michael Redmond intercepted there, yeah. Uh, Another one of Clevelyn County Gauls county footballers and a county hurler actually as well. A dual player. Aaron Dial now, this could be a long kick out. Luke Mavani, does he have it? I think Adam uh, Cox is going to read that very well. Brilliant stuff there by Adam Cox. He read that from the minute he left the goalkeeper's toe. He turns back around, Adam wants. He may be small, but he's as tough as a lion. Good Great ball back to Fiondial. Fiondial, a centre half back, bursting up the field. He passes it into his brother. Is he going to make it? Oh, well, no, intercepted. Connor intercepted Fair. brilliantly by Clamore. Strong interception. Back off Sean Corbis. Back to Connor. Connor's going hard in the attack here now. Gives it off to Fiat. Two good friends, two good players. Back off to Brian. Back off to Fiat. Michael Ribbon chasing him down. Now. They have a play it now, how do do? Back off to Wigan Myers, a good bit of speed from him. Back. Oh, bad ball over Fiox head there. How that fell up from that. He takes it around, back off to Roy. Give it back to Roy. Go on, Lou. On the ground by Fiox on. Brilliant, brilliant pressure there from the 11th on the goal. Backs between Owen Tracy and Fionn Dial and Adam Cox there. 
They put the Cologne Norman under pressure. So Fionn Dyle is kicking a half here again. That's a great ball up now. Cahill Tracy has the ball. Cahill flicks it up soccer style, Ronaldo style. The ball comes out here to Lucas. Lucas is bursting up the wing. He lets a great ball in into Pedro. Oh, Unlucky. Well earned by Charlie Hennessy there to get the ball back to Tom Moore. Aaron Dyle has it now. Throw out to Newton Van it. Michael Redmond is, or Michael and Allen is chasing him down. Fig on the attack here now. Bang off to Peter Cavanagh. Well kept by Peter. Into William Myers. A soft Brilliant. free there, Dara, to be honest. Uh, soft poor, free. Poor free now, in fairness. Poor call from the ref. Glavin probably should have possession by now. Yeah. Let's see what Fig can do here now. Over the bar from field, let's go. Yeah, the ball's going over the bar. More. So after 13 minutes here, Nehwes Cullen Park, it's come more, two points, Kilavin on the goal, no score. Took some more a while there to get going again. Kilavin are putting on the pressure now. Shows the importance of a good free taker too there, yeah. doesn't it? Could win you the game, could lose you the game. And the way the game is going, it could come down to the freeze because there's no open yeah. scoring from play. So Brandon Nolan here is kicking out the ball again. So he's gone out to Michael Redmond oh. and, and Luke Michael Vanny. Nolan is battling for this ball. Well led by Luke Mavani, picked up himself. Back to Sean Corr as well. Great ah. tackling there by Michael Redmond and Michael Nolan, the oh. two Michaels. Right, how you doing? Name a band. Corners, Brandon Nolan is battling now as Podge Finn. Great stuff there by Podge Finn. Who have we coming out with now? Great ball up to Michael Nolan again on this far wing and brilliant stuff there by Adam Cox. Between Adam Cox there now and Podge Finn, they done brilliantly. They were outnumbered, but still came out with the ball. Kicked the ball up the wing to Michael Nolan, and Michael won the free. So Adam Cox now has braced himself for this free. Now he's giving it to Fionn Dial. Fionn is looking for an option. There's no movement yet. Fionn is screaming to get a bit of movement. So the ball comes up here now to Cahill Tracy. High ball in. So uh, Oren Dial is out for the ball. I'm lucky Oren. Charlie Hennessy's down on it. Back off to Jack Lyons. Great interception there by Lucas. Lucas passed the ball into Pedro. Pedro got it. He's going soccer style. He's going soccer style. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky there from Pedro. Aaron Dyle wouldn't have had that one covered anyway if it was an inch or two in. Yeah, it was a great effort by Pedro Martinez there and a great ball in from, from uh, Lucas Casal. That, that was the first real goal chance of the game there, Dara, yeah. and uh, it was inches in it. Yeah, inches in it now. Clamore would have been disappointed to concede it after giving away the ball so, slop, so slop, sloppily. It was a poor way to give it away in their own 45. It was really. a poor turnover. But the pressure's on these lads. It's a his a county final and the nerves are there. Yeah. Oh. Lucas wins the ball back. He's having a stormer here, Lucas Gazal. He flicks the ball in front of him and he's gone again. Oh, great ball into it. Oh no, the goalkeeper has it. Oh no, he has it. Well, he Pedro was unlucky there. He was inches away from it. So come more on the attack again. Number 10 is Spanish, is he? There's two Spanish, yeah, there's two Spanish students. You can see he has a Spanish player from Manu. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very good footballers as oh, well. Good and it's into Lucas again. So Lucas has a bit of space in front of him. He gives it back to Carl Tracy. Big, strong chap, Carl. Played minor last year, only 13. He goes on the left foot, he takes. That's a dangerous ball into the square. Uh, well held by the goalkeeper. Well, well kept. One go, though. Back to Ross Dial. Oh, that's a dodgy ball. Jack Lyons keeps it, though. Could have went anywhere there. Look into Luke McGrath. Oh, and Tracy has the ball. He takes it from the grasp of Luke McGrath. Owen is bursting free. The referee is giving the advantage. He's going to let Owen keep travelling. Owen right passes the ball into Oren Dial. Oren has a look up. He gives it to Michael Redmond. Now, Michael, this is where Michael is dangerous. He's dangerous in these positions. Back to Oren Dial. Oren into Owen Tracy. Owen Ch Tracy Ch on the right foot hits the ball. The ball has gone in and the ball has gone over the bar. And that's the first score for Calavan Tony Gall. Absolutely brilliant stuff by the Calavan Tony Gall forwards, Dara. It was deserved score from him, to be fair. The dispossessed it there uh, just in front of Clamore's 45. It was deserved score. Clamore couldn't give it. Michael Redman got in. I think it was Michael Redman got in ahead of Luke McGrath there. Yeah, Luke McGrath fumbled it into his hands. And sure. So uh, 16 minutes gone now, and it's Calavan Tony Gall one point, Clamore two points here in Netwatch Cullen Park. Go kick out from Aaron Dial, but I don't know. Adam Cox has read that brilliantly Manu. again. Oh, the bounce. Luke, Luke Mavani onto it. Owen oh, Tracy oh, gets in it. there brilliantly. Owen is going to go down this ball now. Turn and come out. 
Michael Redman is screaming for a head of him. Owen sees him. He gives it in to Adam Ooh. Cox. Adam, quick ball into Michael Redmond. Now Michael, this is, Michael has the ball. He's traveling forward. Michael Redmond is screaming for it. Michael pops it into Oren Dyle. Oren Dyle is running through. Michael Redmond wants it back. But Oren takes a shot. The ball has gone in. And the ball has gone marginally wide. Oh, and un unlucky there. Unlucky Another great attack from Clavin County Gall. Because Adam probably should have got the score off. It would have deserved the score as well, to be fair. Going yeah. through in the one half. The move's up well. Unfortunately, it's uh, so the last couple of minutes here now, Oak 11 have a, are having a purple patch, but they need to make it count. We're coming up to half time now, three minutes to half time. We need to get another couple of scores on the on the board. Yeah. Oh, oh, off the head of Jack Lyons. A backwards header. <laughs> Walked down with the wind up for him though. I did. Jack Lyons on the attack here. Gives off to Liam Kennedy. Lucas are... Uh, oh, he's getting cornered here now. He got through well though, off to Ross Dial. Walking Ross Dial with him now. Gives it off to Fiok. Oh, Fiok turns him well. Back here to Brian Wayne. Oh, he's stopped there. Here's Fiok into Josh. That could have been off the ground. Oh, wow. Great pressure again. Brandon Owens having a massive game in here, fullback. He reminds you of Mick Lyons, the great mead fullback from the 80s and the 90s. Big lump of lad coming out and winning the balls. Great ball in there by Michael Noll into it's Oren Dial. Oren Dyle gets the ball out on the half back, back to Michael Rebbin. Ma Michael is after covering every blade of grass here in Dr. Cullen Park this morning. Good pass by him there. On, on Nolan, he pops it back into Oren, back to Michael. Great inter oh, interplay by the two boys. The ball has gone in now. Oh, it's a dangerous oh, ball, and the goalkeeper has it. Oh, into the hands of Brian Lee. Oh, not so much the hands, but into his play anyway. Back off to Charlie Henson here. Oh, Pierre Cameron doesn't have that. Great hand. interception there by Adam Cox. Poor pass, no, for Charlie. Adam Henson. Cox, a great person to read the ball. Now, Oren Dyle has the ball here. He's looking for support. He has it by Carl Tracy. Carl Tracy back to Oren Dyle. Oren Dyle. Oren is running up. He's having a look up. He turns back. That's the way. Don't panic. He gives it back to his brother, Fionn. Back to Carl Tracy. Carl gets the screen from Michael Redmond, but he takes it on himself. Carl is taking the ball. This game with a scruff of the hands here now. He's in. He takes a shot. The ball has gone in. The ball has gone over the bar and we have a level game here in Dr. Cullen Park. <coughs> 19 minutes gone here and it's two points each. Things are going to start to tighten up now in the last two minutes of the second half, first half. Brilliant stuff there by Cahill Tracy. Over Showing team. his leadership there. Our team gets the first score here now. Our yeah. score before half time uh, with setting sides up fairly nicely. Calavin have made a change as well. Uh, Donnie Cosgrave is in there and Owen, Owen or uh, Evan Dyle is off. Evan playing a good stint there in fairness to him. Brian Wayne right here now. Oh, oh William Myers here, great pace from William. Danger here, danger oh. here. Fists over the bar, well deserved. I love from William. Chap is still in sixth class. You wouldn't think it though by looking at him. No, he's a, he's a great footballer. He's playing all out. A good score. And when he got in, he didn't panic, Dara. He didn't oh. panic. He, he knew he what held. he wanted to do. He do, and he just punched it over the bar. He was playing Leinster's futsal yesterday. He uh, missed the semi final. All oh, right. They, they lost the, the final, though, 6 1 to the crowd in Longford, I think. But um, he wanted to be winning today's final, anyway. A great. And there we are. We have half time here, folks, in Nevis Cullen Park. And it's 11 20 goals, two points, some more, three points. So myself and Dara are going to go for a cup of tea and we'll see you in the second half. Okay folks, welcome to the second half here in Nefors Cullen Park. We have a tight game in the Division Division 2 fail the final here on the 30th of April 2023. Calavon Clonigal 2 points and Clonmore 3 points. No changes for either side so far, I don't think. I don't see any change, but Calavan made a, a change during the game. Evan Dyle, who, who, was, who was winning a lot of ball, went in. Evan has gone off, and Donica Cosgrave has come on, corner forward. So that's the only change Come I can see at the moment. Come more on Dara Townsend for Peter Kavner. So Dara can do now. He's still under 13, but he's not bad as a footballer. So the referee is just checking the watch and making sure everything is in order. He's actually waiting for the two line umpires to get back into the goal, and the ball is back in. So up goes Fionn Dial and oh. Michael Redmond. Between Michael and Fionn, both of them win the ball. So the first attack is here. Michael Redmond and Fionn Dial has the ball. The two of them are in tandem running through. That's a great an opportunity here for a goal. Pedro turns, oh, shoots. Well, well done, Dial. The ball, oh, oh well, unlucky. Blocked off the line by Ross Dial. <coughs> Carl Tracy buries the ball in the back of the net. Brilliant goal by Carl Tracy. But fabulous work there by Pedro Martinez. 
so that's the, that's the start of the game that Clevelin County Gall wanted. Dara, heartbreaking off for Tom Moore. Oh, disappointing to concede, all right. This might give Kildavan now some serious momentum. But the two boys in the middle, Michael Redmond and Fionn Dyle, they, they won the ball and it went the whole way through the middle. Brilliant start for Clevelin County Gall. Fierk Warren, does he have it? Adam Cock, that man again is after reading the ball brilliantly, but oh, he's unlucky, he's unlucky. Up, ah, foul surely, ref. Ref gives a foul in. Luke McGrath plays it into... Oh no, that's William Myers plays the Luke McGrath. I can look good this night. He's going forward, but oh, Barry Towns around the back to substitute. In the ball in here now. Can do here. Brilliant uh, stuff there by Podge Finn. Oh, Podge is unlucky, he picks the ball off the ground. Oh, free in. Podge Finn done brilliantly there to turn the ball over, but he was just a little behind Lucky to pick the ball off the ground. It looked like he picked it up there in the box though, didn't it? Only the goalkeeper can pick it up in the box. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was on Nookie in fairness to him. He done all that hard work and he just... Lost concentration a little bit. Fiat Bourne now for his third point of the match. This is where he'll be needed. It's come more under pressure. Man who just takes going to a serious tally. <coughs> ball has gone in and gone over the bar. So after two minutes here, the second half is 11 20 goal, 1-2. Come more, four points, uh, a one point game. So, Ushin Coffee now, the 11 20 goal goalkeeper, has gone over to get the ball for Brandon. Come more, we're pushing up strong now in this kick out, looking to win it. They'll be disappointed now to have conceded that goal, and it might send a bit of nerve down the back of them. Yeah, disappointed to concede the goal, but they've done well, they came back up and got a point of their own there, so. Settled them a little bit. Brandon oh. goes long. Oh, Jack Lyons. And Michael Redmond, is, is that Michael Redmond? It is Michael, no it's not, it's, oh. it's uh, Lucas. Lucas passed the ball into Fjundile. A towering figure of Fjundile in the middle of the field. He lets the ball in, a great ball into Owen Tracy. Oh! oh lost the <coughs> Great ball by uh, Carl Tracy, he's pulling the trigger. He's letting the ball in, it's gone in, it's gone oh. in, it's gone in. Oh, and Pedro wins the ball. Gone. The ball is still gone in play, the ball play. is still in play. Somehow. And the, the umpires wave wide. Tom Moore crowd getting a bit of a ride at the yeah, end there. Yeah, the crowd are starting to get on their feet here now. There's a bit of dispute whether it was over the line or not there. We're fine. We know the answer well, now. It doesn't matter what any of us think up here. It's the man in the white coat down there, so that counts. No matter how old or how young they are. Damien Tracy, one of the coaches, is down here in front of us now. He's getting his experience out oh, into the field. Field burn, well, ball well won. Back off to Luke Mavani now. Brian, oh, what do we do with now? Gives it back off to Fiat. Oh, poor ball. Great turnover on Nuki by Fionn Dial. Brian Wayne, Fiat on the ball again. Gives it off to Barry Townsend. Back to Fiat. Back to Fiat. Oh, well done. Brian blocked by Brandon Nolan. Brandon Nolan is up. He might as well bring home the grass out of that square because he owns that square the whole day. Sean Carlos wins the ball back to Tom Moore. Luke McGrath. Ross Dyle needs to find that all straight to Sean Carlos. Oh, ah, poor, poor wide now there uh, for Sean Carlos. Poor wide, but we'll go back to that block by Brandon Owen. That was absolutely brilliant. brilliant. That was definitely a goal chance for Brandon. Put his body on the line and got in across and he got the block in. Brilliant stuff there by Brandon Owen who's standing up here today. Would've of course, it'd be a son of one of the coaches here, Mark Nolan. Uh, would have been straight into the back of the net there if it wasn't for him. Fair play to him. It could be a, it could be a game changer that block by Brandon. Could so be. Brandon now is probably a one. Great kick out, out to the wing, out to Michael Nolan, out to Michael Redmond. Michael is going to get that ball. Oh, on oh, the Sean Cordes no. gets it. Oh, free in for oh, sideline ball. Side Michael ball. just barely got out past Michael. Into the pace of William Myers. Oh, well won. Let's see what you can do with this. William, going strong. Oh, good score, William. Good score from William Myers, one of the youngest players Great in the field. There. He's Great already score. nabbed himself two points. So it's 11 20 goal, 1 2, Clum Moore, 5 points. From St. Mullins to Ballon, that's a level game in any man's language, Dara. Oh, it is. A very level game. Could, could see this clash of two teams down in the Intermediate Championship. That's it, yeah. That'll be another decider. <laughs> Two years ago, Kevin Beckham won and uh, what we call nightmare great, year. Great mark there by Fjundal. A big high ball in here to Owen Tracy. Will he retrieve Owen is it? going to the bounce. No, great stuff by Owen Tracy. So Owen is bursting through the middle. He has a look up. 
He gives it into, oh. it, he gives it into his close. Right 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 Bring a recovery there from Cahill Tracy. Cahill flicks the ball in, flicks it to himself. Ronaldo style. So Cahill's in. Pedro's in the goal, back to Cahill Tracy. Cahill pulls the trigger. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Just lost his balance there. Lost his balance. I think he got a bit of a nudge there when he was kicking it. But the referee didn't see it that way, so it's a sideline ball to Clonmore on the very far side there. Another great opportunity for Clavin there, Dara. Savage opportunity. If his balance just hadn't let him down there, would have been straight over the bar, maybe even back in there. Oh, that's a risky that's a ball. risky ball across by Sean Cornish retrieves it. Oh, good turn by Sean. Ah, oh, that's a bad ball. Brilliant again. turn over there from Oren Dyle. And the free is in. Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's actually Donica Cosgrave. Brilliant stuff by Donica Cosgrave there. Free in for Kildavin now at the minute. Now, Cahill Tracy is lining this up. He's about, I'd say he's about 35 yards out. Be a great time to get a score here now just to take the, take the window out some more sales. The referee is going in now just to make sure there's nothing untoward going to happen in the square if it drops short. But I can't, I can't see it dropping short. Cahill is going to put this over the bar. So here we go, Cahill takes a swipe at it, the ball has gone in, the ball has gone in, and the ball has gone in, and the ball has gone over the bar. Brilliant stuff there by Cahill Tracy. <coughs> that man is on fire today, so that's 11 20 goal, 1-3, one, one more, 5 points, so 1 point game again, Dara. Good game so far, in Kildavin's favour now at the minute, but Clamore, they want to keep pushing. It'll be interesting now to see what they do with kick out here, Luke McGrath has pulled out to the ring. He should have it won here, if he doesn't, it'll be... He takes the mark, good call by him. I see Joe Kerwin is in here now as well. He's lacking options though, into Ross style. Joe Ross Car has it. Liam Kenley now, tidy little football. Ross, oh, well, well. Ah. Back to Luke, on Luke. Oh, just threw it up the line. Oh, that was a bit harsh, Billy Fanning there. I didn't think uh. that was out across the line myself, but Billy Fanning is given. So Calavin have made another substitution, Joe Kerwin is in there and I think it's Michael, Michael Nolan has made way but Michael is running his socks off here today so he'll be due arrest. So Cahill has taken command of this game now. Oh, oh into Fiox Barnes. Mid short, mid short. Fiox going to look for that back off Luke. Oh good run by Fiox. Fiox going well. Oh lucky there. Brian Wheeler here. Brilliant block by Adam Cox. Well, Brilliant like block. Point seven block by Adam back. Cox. Back out to Fiat, kind of the main man here for Tom Moore today, and a lot of time. Out comes Brandon Owen for the... Back out Sean Corners. Brilliant tackle by Michael Redmond. The Calavin County Gold backs have wrapped him up, they've wrapped him oh. up and the ball has got in. Brilliant pressure there by the Calavin County Gold backs. Ball is that old Michael player. Redman, Brandon Nolan. Brilliant block in the first place to be Adam Cox. That was a point saving block by Adam Cox there a few minutes ago, um, Dara. Yeah, it was a savage block there in fairness from him. <laughs> so Brandon Nolan now is coming for this kick out. He's going well on the kick outs in fairness. Especially with the man down, they seem like they're not outnumbered or anything. Yeah, he's finding his, he's finding his man every time. Great run really there by Michael Redmond and up Fionn. Fionn no, no, leads it back to Clamore here. Gives it to Luke McGrath, back off to Fionn. Fumbles it a bit, but he still has it. Has he got the legs for it? Oh, is that why? Right? Over the bar by Fionn. Another great score from Clamore there. Now That's so. Fionn's fourth point Four to point, the game. Fifth point there, yeah, good Four score. Point. He does take score now to a serious tally, even minor league. Hit nine points against Tullow in the first evening. Hit three six against Bagging the Sound then. Brilliant stuff. Savage footballer. Grand Level game here again now. Brandon goes short. The pin. Oh, oh Michael's, Sean yeah, Carter's ball. By. Michael's going to battle for this. He's doing well. The Brilliant ball. stuff by Michael Redmond there. He out. He out battled the bigger mm. man. Tigery style footballer. Great ball into. Great ball into Lucas. Lucas turns his man. Lucas is cross a field. Footballer. Switched the ball across to Pedro. Pedro Connor wins the ball. Ford, well intercepted. Carl Tracy goes in. Swipes out. Well won by Connor Ford. Ah, ah brilliant Charlie. defending. Brilliant defending there. Savage from Tom Moore. Into Luke. Into the path. Luke McGrath now. Oh, Luke. Oh, Tracy is here. Yeah, off Fiat the ground. That scene we took off the ground. The referee's letting go. Great strength by Fiat. Great game of football to watch there, isn't it? Oh, it's very interesting. Anyone that came to Netflix Cullen Park this morning won't go home disappointed anyway, no matter who wins. They're getting their free tickets, what? 
Yeah. The Arga. Every euro on the free ticket. <laughs> Nothing back for the diesel though. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's intercepted there by... Oh, free, oh. free in for Tom Moore here. Must have been a knee up by the Kadan man. a push in the back, the referee is signaling a push in the back as after the ball was kicked. Was I didn't see anything. That'd be a harsh one now, but it's, it's a scoreable free again for, for that man that's stepping up to take the free. Man, now we'd be looking to get his fifth point of the game. Could this be where Clonmore go back in front after being out of the game? For the last For the last minutes. 20 minutes. Could this be where they go back in front? Philip Warren would hope now. He'd hope that's where they can get back into it. Good score by Fiat, first fifth point of the game. Good score by Fiat there again. So after 11 minutes of the second half, it's 11 20 goal, 1 3, Clonmore 7 points. So it's a 1 point lead at the moment for Clonmore. So Clonmore need to get, they need to get onto this kick out. Mans had 6 shots today and he scored 5 of them. That's a serious conversion there. They're in Johnny Sexton territory there. <laughs> 5 out of 6. It'll only count now if he scores a 45. So Brandon now is setting up this again. Because Evan Cundy Gall need to win this one. Need to get momentum going again. Strong kick Great out. ball in the oh. oh, look at Luke pushing push the, the back. back. Luke has got a push in the back, so. The referee's <coughs> bringing it back now, just where it was. So Fionn Dyle is on the ball here now. Fionn knows we need Clevin Cundy Gall need the next score. Can Halfway happen? through the second half. Oh, oh. ball won by Sean Cordes. Does he have it though? No. Lucas and Michael won the ball back, so Michael is motoring through the centre. He pops the ball into Cahill Tracy. Uh, now there's a score on here. Cahill is going through the middle. He's, go he's having a look. Up. He pulls the trigger. Oh. The ball has gone over the bar. Brilliant score there, but that was initially won by Michael Redman and Lucas. They turned the ball over. Lucas gave it back to Michael. Michael ran down the field. He gave it into Cahill, Cahill Tracy. Cahill brought it a couple of yards. Didn't panic. Popped the ball over the bar. Good and we're level again. Could, look, could, could be seeing extra time, maybe. Ooh. But if, if, it keeps, if things keep going the way it's going now... It's, it's tit for tat at the moment, all right. Nick or nothing. Oh, I don't know if that's in Clonmore's favour now. Liam Kennedy has it. Well won. Smallest man in the field and he's still winning them breaking balls. Into Fioc. Who will he give it to now? Oh, that's a dodgy ball, but Luke Gavani takes it. Into Ross Dial. Strong man now. Come on, have and out comes that up. man again, Brandon Nolan. Roy Dial down the brother of Oshin Dial. Oh, into party, cousin of fear. That could be a free now for party. Oh, brilliant block. 45 now here for Brilliant Moore. block there by Owen Tracy. No, it was Michael Redmond. They've done well to, to battle back there. So it's a 45 now here for um, Tom Moore. Thought he was probably a little bit unlucky there, he didn't get the free. He was unlucky, but the, in fairness to the backs, they didn't, they didn't foul, they, they mm. held the head. They knew it was a dangerous position to be giving away a free, so in fairness, it was just, great defending. Just stood around, did right thing yeah. in the fair one. It's great to see lads that age, you know, not rushing into the tackle. It was push the man back out on the outside. Exactly, but shows the, the, the great coaching they're getting off yeah. Mark Nolan, Damien Tracy and Mick Cox. Oh, that's a strong kick by Fiat, but... That's another 45, 45 Brandon five. got the hand to it there, so as you are, we're back out again, so you get another opportunity. Six minutes to go here now in Netwatch Cullen Park, this could be one of the deciders maybe, if something comes over. Although I couldn't see Kildavan letting it be a decider, they're pushing strong. Nothing short, and nothing silly. Into Brian Reel, oh Brian, do you have it? Brian has it, gives it back to Fiocq. Oh, Brian. He has the Brian. opportunity now. Brian. No, he snatched oh. that. He snatched that and unlucky. Nice. He was unlucky. He, was a, he, was, he done right taking the shot. Not else he could have done there, really. So we're back to a 11 20 goal kick out here again. So Brandon is going to set it up again. Getting the kick and tee off, pushing Seven points to 1 4 here. Five minutes to go. Gonna be a tense five minutes here, Dara. Gonna go either way. Intense. Me and you can end up boxing here, and <laughs> you wouldn't know how to take this. Anything can happen in these <laughs> type of games. Great kick out this time again by Brandon out to Fionn Dial. So Fionn has the ball now, he's an acre space in front of him. He's going to take it on. 
Lucas and gives the ball in, in and Lucas is out in front. Lucas no, get, great oh. turnover. Jack Lyons wins, I think. Adam oh. Cox is winning back there. Brilliant stuff by Adam Cox. Adam Cox after having a Luke. horse of a game. Oh. Is it Adam? Come on, it's ball. not Adam, it's Oren Dial, is it? Jack Lyons just got locked up it's in the Oren tackle Dial. there and he managed to get the free. Into the part of William Myers. Oh, good Johnny turn Shepherd by there, William. barely missed it. Ah. Johnny Shepherd done well. I'm lucky there to have that gone out on him. I'm going to use in a cliche, but Johnny Shepherd shepherded the ball out. <laughs> I went to primary school with Johnny Shepherd actually. It's unusual you'd have a shepherd in a field and no sheep around it. <laughs> Great stuff there by Oren Dial. Can and Oren gets nudged out across the line. Kyle Clark, the linesman waves it up into the town end. Into Sean Corners. Ah, he's unlucky to lose it there. Stumbles the ball, but Michael Redman has it again. Out to Lucas. Lucas into Fionn now. Fionn has the ball. He's attacking the goal. He pops the ball into, into his brother Orn. Orn pops it into Carl Tracy. Carl Tracy pops into Pedro. Pedro fumbles the ball. He turns. Oh, oh great, great save ball. by Aaron Dyle. Brilliant block well, by the goalkeeper. Forward. Aaron Dyle, he's a man who can win you any kind of game. No one the player he is. Conor Ford looking for options. Back off the Luton Valley. Oh, Great back interception off. by Joe Kerwin. He's only on the field. But he'd pick, he had the mind there to turn that ball back. Great stuff. Absolutely brilliant stuff there by Joe Kerwin. He's got the crowd on their feet here. He'd be a nephew of the great John Kerwin, the, Car the 11 Clonic Gall intermediate footballer. So Adam Cox is on the ball here now. Adam won't panic. Very, very intelligent footballer. So he goes into, into Cahill Tracy. Cahill turns his man. The referee gives an advantage, but Cahill wants to take it on. He pops into Michael Redman. Oh, Michael back to Cahill. Back. Dangerous ball here again. It, he's in again. He pulls the trigger. And the ball's in the back of the net. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff there by Cahill Tracy. Between Cahill Tracy and Michael Redman there to work it well. But I'm going to go back to Joe Kerwin. Joe Corwin ran 20 yards there to turn that ball over. So that that goal is every much Joe Corwin's as Cahill Revens. Cahill Tracy's. Brilliant stuff there by, by which was started by Joe Corwin. Brian Wheel here. Oh, Adam Coxon won the ball back. Adam Coxon, I want Tracy both there together. Brilliant stuff there. I want Tracy comes out to tackle. He gives in to Podge Finn. Podge Finn gives the ball into Michael Redman. Michael Redman has an acre in space in front of him. He's travelling forward, he's, he's, he's going to recycle special. the ball, he turned back, he gives the ball here now to Owen Tracy. Owen Tracy looks up, oh, oh brilliant turn over. Set by Sean Corners. They're going to be looking for Fiat here now. Ah. Great turn over again by Fionn Dial. And that man again, Michael Redman, what an athlete this lad is. Pops it out to my, my man of the match would be Cahill Tracy. He's after covering every blade of grass in here and he's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant ball in again into, into Lucas. Lucas is in a goal, he's on the 21 yard, he pulls the trigger, the ball's got in, the ball's got over the bar. That's a four point lead for Calavan 20 goalers, about one minute left to go. Is that the winner? Is that the winner, Dara? Oh, it could be. It's a four point game. That's tough to claw back from in the last two minutes, last minute. They're going to need Clamore, they're going to need something big here now. These so, 11 Clonic Gold men are after showing some heart here today, uh, after getting the feed, getting the feed on Friday night by Clamore. Brilliant, there he is again, that man again, Carl Tracy. Call Call into here. Pedro, brilliant ball. Pedro's after winning uh, a long ball in there. by Charlie Hennessy. Back out the loop of Manny, does he have it? Michael Remy goes in with his shoulder. They all tried to knock him down. Every one of them tried to knock him down, but he gets up and goes on again. Brilliant stuff there by Michael Redmond. Damien Tracy goes in there now just to slow things down. So Carl is using the hub. Carl knows he's going to run the clock down. There's only 10 seconds left. Might be. Just, just put the ball dead. Carl, put the ball dead. Doesn't matter if it goes wide, just put it dead. Give it everything you have. That's uh... a wide is as good as a score at this stage. So the 20 minutes are up and Calvin County Gall are 2 5, Tom Moore 7 points. There's hardly too much time left, Ara. Not much time for Tom Moore now, anyway. 
and I'd say when the final whistle goes, you will see the roof coming off Network Cullen Park here to stand. Oh, uh, I think it'll be Killan's day though, unfortunately, from a Clamore perspective, but Clamore still have it though. Brilliant stuff again by Carl Tracy. What more can we say about this man here today? Michael Redman, back to Carl Tracy again. Carl is running through, he gives the ball into oh, all well intercepted again. By Lee Back up to Connor Ford. Back to Fiat. Fiat now, he's going to be edging for the goal. Back in the Dara Townsend. Wrapped up there, I think. That was cute, cute play there by Adam Cox. Oh, was. Adam knows that, he just holds the ball up, the clock is ticking away. Alright, I don't know, he's going to look for something like this. Look at that, oh, Kavan had it in back, I think. Casper ran, Lucas ran 20 yards there just to get that ball out across the line. There's hardly too much time left. Oh, Can't be too much time left, Dara. The only thing that we had on a bit of time now is a Flamborough a goal, they only have one chance and that'd be the win back kick out. But I do, it's not looking likely. Okay, Lavin won't panic now, they've all the men back, they're going to... Just don't let him, don't let Clamore in for a goal, that's what oh, they're saying. And now he comes, look at that! Colin Tracy, yeah again. And there's the final whistle! And Gillam and Tony Gall have defeated Tom Moore here in the Division 2 fail the final by two goals of five points to seven points. Brilliant stuff here by Gillam and Tony Gall. Dara, Tom Moore, unlucky. They were Tom Moore favourites coming into it. Yeah, they were great the champions as well. Gillam and Gall, they dug deep. Ah, they done well in fairness. They deserve, it was a deserved win. They dug out further than we did. They were a strong team, Carl, Carl Tracy especially. No, a brilliant display there, by. Man, by every one of them, but I have to say, like if we're picking the man of the match, Paul Tracy has to be man of the match. Oh, easily. No he was outstanding there today. For a man that's only after come back from a cruciate injury, Jeez. he was absolutely outstanding. But he, he he dragged all them lads along with him. He did. Every one of them lads upon the Calvin Georgie Day should be very very proud. They were absolutely brilliant. He pulled them out of fire now. To be fair to him, they defended well. They kept them off from getting any goals. Absolutely brilliant stuff. So there's going to be a cup presentation here now, so we'll keep, we'll keep recording. We have Nicola Murphy here on camera, so we're going to keep recording and see the Calavin Clunny All captain lift the cup. Hi, Trish. A great day for Calavin Clunny All. We don't win a whole lot, but brilliant day for days him. like this you have to savour them. But they're absolutely brilliant from the first minute to the last minute. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Dara, for call commentary. Brilliant stuff. Fair play to you, thanks, Dara. So we're going to keep we're going to keep recording here now. So um, the officials are getting everything in order here now for the presentation. So all the Calvin County Gall subs are gone down there now. So we'll just we'll just name out everybody on the panel here when we're waiting for the for the present presentation. So we do in Caulfield and Gall with Joss Ennis. Brandon Nolan and Podge Finn was the full back line. Adam Cox, Owen Tracy, Johnny Shepherd was the half back line. Fionn Dyle and Michael Redmond, man midfield. Lucas Gassel, Cahill Tracy and Michael Nolan was the half forward line. Full forward line then of Evan Dyle, Pedro Martinez and Oren Dyle. Well done again to both teams. That was an absolute uh, dinner. I'd like to also thank uh, our, our officials for this morning. As, um, as we are well aware, without these people, we don't have games. And we can see that from different things happening in the news at the moment. So please be very respectful of your referee at all times, of your lines people. These people are giving up their time also. And it's not easy. So please remember that at all times. I think the kids are coming along now and they understand that they have to respect them. So it's up to us adults to show the kids and to be respectful. 
Yeah, but we've had the captain now, the Kildarvan for the ball team up here with the, in the great. So the Kildarvan County Gold team are making their way up along here. So I'll just name out the rest of the panel here when we're waiting for uh, the presentation. So we had um, James Bourne, Harry Kelly, Donika Cosgrove, Keen Dunn, Ben Tracy, Sean Dunn and Joe Kerwin. That made up the panel. So the Kildarvan County Gold team now they're making their way up here. It's not too often we see a Kildarvan County Gold captain come up to receive a trophy. So, Cahill Tracy. So, Yvonne Don is uh, our own cup team minister secretary, and it gives me great pleasure to give her the cup, so she's presented to the winning captain. Well done. Well so, done. So, we have Yvonne Don now handing the, bo handing the trophy over to Cahill Redmond. One of her own, giving it to one of her own. Brilliant. That's a brilliant picture to have. Uh, that picture will have to go up in Spellman Park. And now brilliant stuff. And now we're. Cahill Tracy is going to say a few words. Uh, just thanks to come over for your good games in the last few days. We're going to show you cheers. Flip. 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 Okay, Mark, brilliant win there today. What's your, what's your first promotion after the final uh, win? Okay, relief and it's just great here. Kind of get over the line with him, you know, to get into a few finals and um, just even like a tough week. It's kind of an emotional kind of week because it's just a small goal and you're trying to keep him going and stuff like that. And just, just to see him play that one in the final, especially in the second half. And just getting over the line is probably more relief than anything else. But, you know, just absolutely believe it. Yeah, no, brilliant, brilliant achievement, especially after getting bet by so many points in the first game, back yeah. to Friday evening. How do you manage to turn it around in such a short space of time? I don't know any chaps, but I still have to give a few home truths. Yeah. Look, we said coming up to this that, you know, a team that wins is a team that's going to keep improving each game. And if you take our first game, you know, the second game, and then there was a massive jump then into the third game on the Saturday morning. And to kind of have a look back from that, Gina. So, the Saturday morning game, the semi final today, we just on a different level of training than what we had. It's all basic stuff like it's just the work harder, the run harder, the tackle harder, you know, basic things like that. It's just got a better connection. Brilliant stuff, and uh, any point during the game is huge at this point. Uh, to be honest with you, all our matches that we're competing in, um, the ball's near one play game at half time. You know, we're up the point, we're down the point. So, when we're going in at half time with a point in it, to be honest with you, while I wasn't happy with how we played in the first half, I thought the ball was a lot better, a lot slicker than it was in the first half. I knew that, in general, we, we get stronger in the second half in the end. So, to be honest with you, kind of know because I was happy that we were just they kept to a one play game in the first half, even though we weren't playing well. And then I just, like, we did up a half time, and we just seemed to always come out in the second half with, with a bit of drive in it. And, you know, thankfully, we just got that bit of a cover pack to have a little bit of five minutes ago. Yeah. There are big players to look today, but not only are big players, they're younger players. Yeah. They really shouldn't play, and only for them. Yeah. Really yeah. Really, really yeah. Really That's it. Um, some of them now were only literally just brought onto the panel this weekend for the failure, um, and showed up. and. Uh, you know, even, even Joe Kerwin there, you know, ran back by just uh, way from the field. Like, he was going to go to miss it, then we got to the final, and, you know, they held on, they actually held up back to this, so. Look, a lot of them put themselves out, the parents put themselves out to get here, and one thing or another, but. Look at young players, older players, look at, it's the same for everybody, and it's just, it's just fabulous to get over the line, it's fabulous for them to get that feeling of winning. You know, coming to and Park and, and winning. So, like, to a man, I'd have all his equals if he was Sammy, and that's a very high level of this makes it happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially on, the, on what you're saying about Joe after the grand card yesterday. Yeah. Our second goal, our last goal by Cotton and Tracy. Yeah. Joe ran to the yards and others ran here to turn the ball over. Yeah. So that man, he was on a mission. That when he was home for that ball, he was on a mission. He was on a mission, yeah. And that's it. But, and again, it's just pure work rate and a will to get back and win the ball for your team. Like, 
it sounds very simple, but look, that's what that's how they just um, we called them out after the first game. We played Clamour, we were on very bad in that first game. And, you know, we won every game since, thankfully. But it's just, it's just different things like that, you know. You know, they're just, like, absolutely love these guys. Like, just every time we go, uh, you know, they're just, they just give you everything. You know? and that's when they want to know any fairly. I know for your coach, you know, over the years, like, you're very passionate about her. It's either right on after, or whether it's under nine of the years ago or whether it's under 15 yeah. same motion every time you treat him but the same like he said 40 year old adult or 40 year old yeah. tell them how it is how it is but that's it sure you do want to be fair and honest I suppose man it's easy to be fair and honest with everybody and go on that box all the time and you try to treat everybody the same that's it you know um, they don't give up a lot of time, we won't give up a lot of time. It's just to throw in there as our anniversary this weekend and we stuck out for a bit of dinner last night and stuff like that, you know. But everyone is giving up something to be here. And the whole thing is they have to be enjoying it. As you said, you have to take the people and stuff like that. I think the lads probably don't care too much about me either. Well, it's a fair call to tell you that you said, but missing a good few there. Anyway, that's yeah, why you're here. Yeah, right. Congratulations on the anniversary. One last thing before we let you go. Like, the support there today. Uh, brilliant. Like, yeah. it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's not the best all the time. No, there's no way. Yeah. Brilliant supporters. All in, go see how many all that was. Today, the collapse of the golf ball, the dreams of them. How did they take it? You know, they've been coming to the matches there, like the Friday night matches and the Saturday. Like, even, even Saturday morning there, like, you could hear them and the emotion. And, um, I don't know, and just knock out football to bring back. You know, it's just, I said to the last team, we wanted to play most in our first knockout game. Like, this is, this is the be all and end all of playing for. Knockout games, touch road, and, you know, the next team gets over the line at the end of the game and have no, no fans out. And, Look, like there's a lot of old mammies and daddies there and uh, granddads and you know, and everything else. And look, like they're only looking for, for a bit of, you know, a bit of success, I suppose, and just to see if you can find it. Congratulations, Barry. Thanks very much for the effort. Okay, we're Damien Tracy here, now one of the other coaches on the uh, winning team here. Uh, Damien, what's your first emotion when the final just went? Same question I asked Mark. Uh, well, it was just pure relief, went. No relief. Uh, you know, we've come in here, as you know, many of the time and came out on the wrong end, so it's just great to get one over the line. Absolutely brilliant. The boys just played their heart. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, we're very proud of that. Every one of them. Every one of them. We, we spoke at half time about, you know, putting in maximum effort and, you know, we just saw it in the second half, like, everybody put the sword in the field, we turned over ball, we just attacked, you know, and we got the score. Yes, it, you make mistakes and stuff like that, it comes in the game, but like, it's just an immense performance in the second half of the night. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, Keen does be all about characters. You had characters out there at the game of Scope and Nick, Mr. Paul Tracy, Michael Redmond, Owen Tracy, then Pedro was brilliant, uh, Lucas was brilliant, all of them now, they really got the. Got the Greek ball there. Yeah, I know. It was, it was amazing. Even, like we we spoke, we said Mark spoke, and at half time just before that, we talked to the lads, and we, we knew we had we had him. Our backs were, you know, we had him covered up in the backs. Like it was just converting the possession to get the scores, and you know we knew we'd break. And I I'd said it to the two lads in the middle of the field. We, we worked something for the throw in. You know, just a knock forward and Michael onto it and we broke and we got the goal but as you say yeah characters just everybody stood up to yeah. everybody to a man brilliant absolutely brilliant. yeah they keep the work rate it's fantastic work rate there even when we, when we got the ball turned over like the work rate to get the ball back yeah like i was just saying there joe Kerwin there that call is racing so that's the yeah no Kerwin went 20 yards turned the ball over like that was as much his goal it was called yeah he, you know and, and that was it like you know like, just Everyone, in, like, you know, we have a small panel at like, under 15s, we're bringing up the 13s, but all them lads, absolutely, you, you name Joe there, Oren was immense at the other side as well, Podge was immense at cornerback, you know, they all, all them lads stepped up and, and done the bit today, it was absolutely brilliant. Just, ah, brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. Like, there's some fantastic scores from both teams, like, Tom Moore had a good feet Yeah, yeah. You know, if Tom Moore had a good feet taker, maybe you were farther away for a mini show. Yeah, listen. You know, but we knew, we knew from Friday or uh, Friday night playing Clamore, we knew, you know, and from under 13 two years ago, we went up to Clamore and only came out, scraped the goal at the last minute to beat him. We knew the two teams were so even and it would take goals to win the game. And yeah, we got him. That was it. Like at the end of the day, the goals won it, like, you know, yeah. and that was it. Yeah, it's the old cliche goal. <laughs> yeah, goals win. Well, like, 
a win like that today, Damien, it brings the whole club forward. Not just your particular group, yeah. but like the most supporters from, say, the under sixes the yeah. whole way. There's intermediate footballers there today. Yeah. Like, it lifts the whole club. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's brilliant. And, and that's what I said to you just a minute ago. Like, we've come in here so many days and just went home, went, went home broken hearted, yeah. like, you know. And everybody gets, and yeah. you know, everybody's yeah. still around, and you know, it's just steady, like, you yeah. know. You know, and I, was, I said I had a lack of Paddy on there, Paddy and myself with that under sevens, and I just said to him, Paddy, this is us in, you know, seven or eight years time again, like, you know, we've a lot to live up to, but, you know, it's just, it's just deadly, like, it's brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, especially, I must be very satisfied, satisfying, say, Friday night, 15 days, especially with 10 points, yeah. and then the turn around with two days, actually, yeah. the four, when it really counted, yeah. it shows a lot of character yeah, in, and, in, I, and on the bench. And on, yeah, definitely does, and listen, I don't think, um, I don't think I'm more underestimating us coming in today, like, you know, the new that we were in 10 points a worse team than them. Like, they scraped over Michel with a last minute penalty save, and we went out and beat Michel yesterday by five or six points. So, there was nothing between a lot of the teams in this, and even better yesterday afternoon, like, you know, you know, it's very competitive, like, you know, all the teams, there's half a dozen teams there, and it's great. It's great for football in Carlo to have that competition there at that level, at Division 2, that we have teams, and that brings on everybody, like, that brings on every club, like, you know. And other clubs will look at us now, and they look and say, Jesus, they could be us, you know, and the more than might be the same, like, you know, and that will drive them on, you know, to to get us in the league, like, you know, so. Listen, we we'll look, we'll savour this and we we'll look yeah. forward to the rest of the year. There was a couple of times during the game where they were sort of called game changers. I say Adam Cox has done a great block in the, yeah. in the second half there, where they fight on. He done yeah. brilliant stuff there. Yeah. Brandon Nolan has done a block in the yeah. square. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Brandon Nolan reminds me of Mick Lyons, yeah. the immediate footballer. The way he just carries himself and yeah. just comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. All them lads yeah. uh, deserve the win today. Congratulations, yeah. Damien. Thanks very much. The whole group, great proud of you. So fair play, enjoy the celebration. Thanks very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, with Damien Tracy here, now one of the other coaches on the uh, winning team here today. Damien, what's your first emotion when the point of this event? Same question I asked Mark. Uh, well, just pure yeah. relief, Wayne. Well, no relief. Uh, you know, we come in here, as you know, many times time and came out on the wrong end, so it's just great to get one over the line, absolutely brilliant. The boys just played their hard thing. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, we very proud of the lads, the way they played, every one of them. Every one of them, like, and we, we spoke at half time about, you know, putting in maximum effort and, you know, we just showed in the second half, like, everybody put this order in the field, we turned over ball, we just attacked, you know, and we got the score. Yes, it, you make mistakes and stuff like that, it comes in the game, but like, it's just an immense performance in the second half of the last. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, keen does be all kind about characters. You had characters out there at the game of Scope and Nick, Mr. Paul Tracy, Michael Redman, Owen Tracy, and then Pedro was brilliant, uh, Lucas was brilliant. All of them lads, they really got the, got the Greek goal there to get over the line. Yeah, I know, it was, it was amazing. Even, like, we, we spoke, we said Mark Buck, and at half time just before that, we talked to the lads, and we, we knew we had we had them, our backs were, you know, we had them covered at, in the backs, like it was just converting the possession to get the scores, and you know, we knew we'd break, and I, I'd said it to the two lads in the middle of the field, we, we worked something for the throw in, you know, just a knock forward and Michael onto it, and we broke and we got the goal, but as you say, yeah, characters, just everybody stood up to it, everybody to a man, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant.